I tell a story. It's not a true story, but I think it, it, it kind of clarifies what happened to me. I say, imagine being in a restaurant with an old friend, and you're catching up, and suddenly he blurts out, I hate my wife. And you kind of chuckle to yourself because he says it every time you're together, and you know he doesn't hate his wife. They've been together for 35 years. He loves his daughters, and they're just like her. No, 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 he doesn't hate his wife. And you're having some dinner, and you look out the window, and you spot his wife in, you know, out the window, and, and she's being beaten up. And you grab your friend, you say, uh, come on, come on, let's help her, let's help your wife. And he says, nah, I'm sure she deserves it. At that moment, it dawns on you, he really does hate his wife. Well, that's what 9-11 was to me. I would hear my friends from the left say how evil and horrible and racist and imperialistic and oppressive America is. And I'd laugh to myself, ah, they always say that, they love America. And then on 9-11, we were beaten up. And I grabbed him by the collar, I jumped up and said, come on, let's help her, let's help America. And they said, no, she deserves it. And at that moment, I realized they really do hate America. And it began me on what's now a five-year, five-plus-year quest to try to understand the mindset. How could you possibly live in the freest nation in the history of the world and see only oppression? How could you live in the least imperialist power in human history and see us as the ultimate in imperialism? How can you live in the least bigoted nation in human history and, as Joe Biden said, see, see racism lurking in every dark shadow?